United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon. Is there anyone here for public input? Anyone public input? All right, review and approve council agenda. Uh, approve as is. I'll second that, sorry. <laughs> I was discussion. up there. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? All of us here approve that, okay. Consent agenda, approve, item A, approve gambling donation request for St. Cloud School District 742. Item B, approve massage enterprise license for massages by Megan. Item C, award 10th Avenue South bid. And item D, approve 2024 casualty insurance. I would move to approve the consent agenda as is. I'll second that. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Passed unanimously. Regular agenda, item A, consider amendments to plan unit development, 900 Second Street South vicinity, Genesis dealership. Um, so, uh, Mayor, members of the council, um, this is an amendment to a PUD um, on the same property of where the Hyundai dealership is located. Um, when this uh, dealership came in, it was before we had changed some of our zoning ordinances where in the past, a, a dealership um, under the Second Street South Corridor um, could have been done, now currently can be done with a conditional use permit, but at the time that this uh, dealership had come in, um, it was done through a planned unit development district. So um, the Hyundai dealership is um, requesting to put in the uh, a Genesis dealership, um, which would be a standalone building um, adjacent to the um, property where they have the existing Hyundai um, lot and the building. Um, it would be um, the second uh, one in the state of Minnesota. Um, and so that's the, that's the simplest of the request. I can share with you um, the layout of that if you just give me a second. This was reviewed by the um, Planning Commission um, and it was approved. Um, if, you look, if you notice here, um, this property right here is um, beach by the 10th Avenue, the one that sits farther back is the existing um, Hyundai dealership. And then just um, to the, uh, I would believe that would be the east uh, of that lot is where the um, Genesis 1 dealership would be. One of the things that they're looking at doing would be to, um, if you notice where the existing curb cut is, they're looking at actually wanting to move that. Um, that is a, uh, would be something that would be handled through MnDOT because it's a state road, not something that needs to be concerned with here. But that's really just for their own um, traffic flow in and out of that, that particular site. Uh, when they first reviewed this, um, I know they did look at the opportunity of potentially, you know, co -ho cohabitating um, within the existing building. Um, however, that wasn't an option for their business structure. And so they chose um, and are requesting to, to put this um, on the separate location, but um, both within the same lot area. All right, Council, got any questions? <clears throat> yeah, I got a couple. Um, isn't this going to acquire a variance for the building? Because you have a garage door that is facing second, or, uh, Year. Second Street, and if you if you want to look at, let me look at. I'll show you. It, are they technically garage doors? Yes, but are they all windows? Yes. So the garage doors are technically all of a window. So the the if you look, if I pull up, if you look at one of the pictures that has a sign above. I believe that says service yeah. or something. Um, um, but as part of the PUD. Um, and when you do that, you're accepting the proposal and the plan as is. And so that's, it's incorporated into the overall request. Um, but it wasn't, it was brought up at the Planning Commission level um, with really not a whole lot of concerns uh, related to it simply just because um, of, the of the way that the whole overall facility and the, uh, and the facade of the building looked 
um, with it being remaining mostly all glass. So if I can pull up the right. And this does fall under the second street ordinance, does it not? Yes, it does. Of course, I have it right in front of me, but I'm trying to find the right attachment. I'm just concerned because we seem to be changing our ordinances and giving variance after variance, and it doesn't seem to uh, this matter what comes in, because if you just want it, you just get a variance. I mean, so what good does the ordinances do? There's no variance on this. Yeah, the risk of the garage door is facing towards. It's not a variance necessarily that it would be. A variance would be from the, a variance would actually be um, what's really is only for from a, a some type of a footage kind of a thing. So a size of a building or something that's going to be encroaching. That's what your variance is going to be from. Um, and a requirement within, within this as a PUD, you can vary um, from those structures. But if you look at the, the overall layout of that, um, building, if I can get the right copy of um, what you what you see that um, as garage doors doesn't really look like garage doors to be quite honest with you. So it's never been and wasn't necessarily listed as a concern. I'm not against putting a building or, or doing what they want to do. I'm just it seems like asking some of our ordinances that we have are. I know well, some of them are quite old and and. Um, so in this particular maybe need a little tweak, but there was a business or a couple of them that came in that we made them change, and they accepted the change um, to put those doors where they were supposed to be. So um, I would just let you know that in this particular case, the only reason why this is being done as a PUD is because that's what the old requirements were. So these. Requirements have been updated since then, and these would typically be done as a CUP. So the only reason why this is coming up again before you has to do with the fact that that's how it was originally previously done. All right, any other questions? I didn't need a motion to either approve or deny the amendment to the planned unit development and adopt the attached approving resolution as presented. <clears throat> I will make a motion to approve. I'll second it. Is there further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Passes unanimously. Item B. Consider police officer collective bargaining agreement and HSA MOU. Um, Mayor, members of the council, um, this is the last of the um, collective bargaining agreements that needs to be, um, that's ready for consideration. Um, what this includes, it's consistent um, essentially with, with all of our other contracts that we have in place, uh, three year contract um, with the cost of living adjustments that are the same. Um, shift differential was changed. There were some wording changes that were added that I don't really want to go through all of the changes that were more technical in um, from the legal perspective of just the way that you refer to um, um, some of the terms in there that have been included in that. Um, and so I think the biggest thing is for us is that we, we did make sure that from a consistency standpoint, the large items are, are essentially basically the same as all the other contracts that we've already had in place. Um, and then along with this, um, if you are um, will, willing to consider the collective um, bargaining agreement, we also by resolution do a, the HSA MOU, which basically just sh tells every year what the contributions that the city will make um, and how it gets divided out between our health insurance premiums and what money goes into an HSA. The contract itself just gives a total dollar amount. Every year we do an MOU that just shows how those numbers are divided out based off of what those premiums are going to be annually. Council, any questions? So it's just basically the same. <clears throat> yeah. As far yeah. as hours and so on and so forth. Yeah, there were some, there. yep. Yeah, nothing that's earth shattering in it. It was just, um, the reason this one took a little bit longer was because um, the police officers switched from a Teamsters union to an LELS, and it just took them a little bit more time to get their, um, 
to get their business agent involved. And so they needed to take a little bit of additional time than the other ones did. So I don't anticipate that being an issue in the, they've been really good to work with. Council, any other questions? Move to approve. We'll second that. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Passes unanimously. I have uh, two letters, one from the Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Minnesota for our donation from charitable gambling to them, and one from CentraCare for our donation from charitable gambling to the Child Advocacy Center. That's all I have. Do you have anything, Sam? Nope. Dave? Bill? Chief? Nope. Paul? No. All right, then we are adjourned at 440.